Disney, you have gone way too far this time. <laughs> Hey guys, Lee's Fun Entertainment here, welcome back to another sad news video and slash rants video. Yeah, this is my first time ever doing a rant video on my channel. So, what am I going to talk about today? Well, um, it's one of the greatest animation studios of all time. And yes, you might guess it from the title and you guessed it from the description while I'm pointing down here or the left side or top, whatever you're watching from the screen. And you guessed that what I'm showing you here. And yes, I'm going to be talking about Blue Sky Animation Studios. Blue Sky Studios is an um, animation division company founded in 1987. Not only are the same companies they produce the Ice Age franchises, but they also produce some of the other Blue Sky films. We've got Robots, Halton Hears of Who, Rio, Rio 2, Epic, The Peanuts Movie, Land and Spies in Disguise, which oddly enough is the last Blue Sky film to ever be released, and also will be the last Blue Sky film before when Disney acquired 20th Century Fox. And by the way, I don't have um, Spies in Disguise with me, um, I don't have that Blu-ray or DVD, I might try and get that at some stage. You might saw on yesterday's news, and I know you guys are going to be very disappointed about this, Blue Sky Studios is going to be closing down. Yes, our never beloved um, animation studio that brings us Ice Age is closing down. Right, I'm going to tell you exactly what have happened because I went on Deadline.com and I'm going to read a new statement here. And by the way, if you guys want to read the news for yourself, I'll leave the news link in the description below and check that for yourselves. Anyways, so here's what it said on Deadline.com. Disney is showing Blue Sky Studios the $5.9 billion dollars dollar global grossing former 20th century fox animation division that during its run churned out 13 feature feature films including the ice age franchise one can say the writing was always on the wall for blue sky especially for disney acquired acquired 20th century studios and its sessions in march 2019 however the past year has been challenging for disney on many fonts of course due to the pandemic obviously not just on the studio sides, but there's also the theme parks closure and the cruise line docking. S suddenly, a feature, a feature animation studio was no longer f vis visible for Disney given the current economic realization. Re Realtize caused by COVID. The last day of, for Blue Sky will be, uh, be on, on April. The employer Blue Sky employees being in packs numbers. 450. Disney will be working with employees at the Greenwich City based studio to the open and proportions on the other internal studios. And this is what the spokesperson on Deadline has to say. Give the current economic realize, realizes after much consideration and ev evolution, evolution, we have made a difficult decision to clo close filmmaking operations at Blue Sky Studios. The Blue Skies and Library and IP will remain part of Disney, and I hear that no plans for another major studio to absorb Blue Skies employees and their operations. A series based on Blue Skies Ice Age characters is already in the works for Disney Plus. For our, for our five movies, the Ice Age series grossed $3.2 billion at the global box office. Production on the Patrick Osborne directed Nimroy, which is dated for January 14th. 2022. It's been stopped and, and the film will, will no longer be released. Deadline has learned Nimura, which has 10 months of production still left to complete, followed a young shapeshifter who teams up with a mad scientist named Lord Ballister Blackheart to expose the ruler of the kingdom. Following Disney's acquisition of Fox, it was announced in two, August 2019 that the Walt Disney Animation Studios president Andrew Milstein was named co-president of Blue Sky Studios, serving along co-president Rob Ballard. Both Milstein and Ballard are expecting to exit of the wake of Blue Sky's closing and closing its doors. The last Blue Sky release, Spies in Disguise, was distributed by Disney in December 2019. It didn't go so well, grossing $66 million at the domestic box office and $171 million worldwide. 
in hope was the what the hope was the pick starring Will Smith and Tom Holland will spot a franchise. So there you go, that's the news um, sorted. Again, if you guys want to read the news to yourself, I'll leave the news link in the description below at the end of this video. Anyways, so here is my thought of the closure of Blue Sky Studios. It's sad. It really is sad because now, when Blue Skies no longer exists now, there will be no more Ice Age, no more Rios, and oh my god, there's a new film coming out called Nimroy? When I read the plot about this, I thought it looks really interesting, but I know Nimroy was based on a comic series um, with the same name, but I would really love that film if it does come out, but unfortunately it was cancelled now, and I heard that they got, I think Spies in Disguise was not the only one that it would be the last time. It, the last time it would be the um, Ice Age spin-off, which featuring Buck. And I know Simon Pegg will be reprising his role as Buck. And I think, uh, and I think they're going to be a uh, focus series will be focusing on Buck. But the series was set to be released in 2022, coming into Disney Plus. So yeah, no words to say. Thank you, Disney for closing Blue Sky Studios, the greatest um, animation studio ever. <sighs> well done, Disney. You did a terrible job of this. I mean, I really wish that Disney and Fox merging together should never exist, right? I mean, I, mean, I had enough I've seen changes to 20th Century Fox now changed to 20th Century Studios and Family Guy and Bob's Burgers taking right off of Adult Swim if you guys live in the US uh, but not over here so yeah like I said Disney is Disney and Fox do not actually mix together and yeah I know Bob Simpson say it best I'm the mascot of an evil corporation thank you Bart thank you said that a really good line so yeah is it going to be the end of Blue Sky Studios? Well, it is, but but we still remember them. We still watch those great movies. I mean, I haven't seen Robots and the Horton Years of Who, which I definitely need to watch that. I know I've seen the rest of the Ice Age franchises. I definitely want to sit down and rewatch. Rio's 1 and 2, good movies. Epic is a really good movie, must-see movie. Um, Charlie Brown and Snoopy Peanuts movie, great movie, Ferdinand's great movie, and Spies in Disguise is a good movie as well. So yeah, I have nothing else to say. Thank you, Disney, for doing this. I can't believe you did this. And I, I'm not going to say this for the third time, I wish Disney and Fox um, acquisition never exist, to be honest. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please spread this video around and all share this video or chat to your friends about it and tell about the entire news about it. And yeah, really disappointing and bad move to Disney for doing this. Yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit the like, subscribe, turn your notifications so you don't miss brand new videos coming up soon. And let me know in the comments below how do you feel with this video and how do you feel about this Blue Sky is closing down. And also let me know in the comments below what is your favourite Blue Sky movies and why. And also what's your best or... And also let me know in the comments below what's your best or worst Blue Sky movies you ever watch and why. So there you go. And I'll do... I do videos once a week and... And I'll be continuing on with my gameplays. I'm going to finish off Super Mario 64 gameplays. And I definitely need to kick off start with Super Mario 3 35th. Um, which I definitely need to finish that off before March 31st. And I'll be de and I'll definitely carry on the uh, SpongeBob Bikini Bomb I rehydrated. So, and to get that out of the way. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is Least Fun Entertainment. Signing out.